Okay, this video is going to talk about narcissism and racial issues, discrimination, racism, and things like that. So if that's not something that you would like to hear about, or if that's a touchy subject for you, please exit out of this video. Um, if you are a subscriber already and discussing racism and things like that is a sensitive subject to you, then exit out of the video because I would not want to say anything and lose you as a subscriber. Obviously for the subscribers that are not my same race, you obvi obviously are aware that we are not the same race, but you still, still subscribe to me because you are not racist, right? So some of you may be unaware of my racial background, right? But at the end of the day, I normally don't like to call names, right? But I mean, this woman has such utter disdain for herself, her ethnic background, her race. She has such a spirit of lies. Who cares if I bring her name up? Okay, so Candace Owens, right? black woman she says that police brutality does not exist racism does not exist black people just need to get over that their ancestors were slaves because they're not slaves right now okay so what do i talk about a lot on this channel narcissism right candace owens could be a potential narcissist, y'all. I mean, at the end of the day, the reason she's able to talk like that is she don't feel nothing, okay? I just learned within the past year to two years about the owner that owned my grandmother's side of the family, which is my mother's side of the family, I was able to finally learn the name. I won't say his name. However, there's a website that has a list. You can actually look up the name of the slave owner because that's what they were called back then and this particular slave owner owned 13 of my biological relatives, right? I'm not sure how many great, 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 great grandmas that was owned, right? However, it was a devastating experience, right? Actually being online and reading my relatives names on there right so the reason candace owens can talk the way she does is because when she sees stuff like that or if she saw it i mean maybe she's too crazy or has not looked it up and saw it but she talks the way she talks because she don't feel what you feel right and that's because of the narcissism. She does a lot of gaslighting. I mean, we got people that have had big, big lawsuits. Okay, police brutality. And like I said, click out of this video because I got to talk about the narcissism in it. Okay, George Floyd. Okay, come on now. That's clear police brutality. So see what Candace Owens does and the reason I don't mind bringing up her name in this video is because how she lies. Okay, anytime a man can be kneed out for up to nine minutes in the street in broad daylight by a insane police officer, then 
that's police brutality. I mean, what she says, Candace Owens says, does not align with the facts. So you got to remember that's a form of narcissism. Now you got what American calls, what America calls white people, or what I call European Americans, because just like you got African Americans, they're descendants of Africa, and then you got European Americans, because I mean, according to history, this was the Indians land, right? So anybody other than the Indians were all from someplace else anyway, right? So that's why I refer to white people as European Americans, because they're descendants of Europe, usually, right? Just like black Americans are descendants of Africa. Okay, so, and then white and black Americans are mixed. I mean, some white Americans have one eighth black in them because they're great, 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 however many grandpas or grandmas was black too. I mean, so that's just how it works, right? But Candace Owens, at the end of the day, from what I've watched and her lack of care and regard and the lies, I mean, keep in mind, she's lying and gaslighting. European Americans or white Americans have even had to say to her, okay, if you say that there's no racism, why did you file a lawsuit many years ago for discrimination and you had the help of the NAACP? So white Americans acknowledge that there's racism. I mean, those are the white Americans that are not acting narcissistic. However, those are examples of narcissists. I mean, they're going to be speakers. They're going to be public officials. You got to understand the lack of remorse that she even has for what she says. I mean, just remember, she don't feel nothing. I mean, like they can't feel what we feel. So even though... Yes, I was not directly on a plantation, okay? And it's a reason I was not directly on a plantation, okay? It's a big reason why um, I couldn't have took that bullshit, okay? So, <laughs> I'm glad my relatives were humble enough to handle that shit, okay? Because um, I don't like that level of control, it's mean and I mean, from an African-American standpoint, I mean, you got light skin, dark skin, wherever they would have put me in the field, in the house. I mean, you got relatives that's different complexions. I mean, I guess they would have put my mama outside as a damn person to, what do you call it, um, pick cotton or some shit. Why I would have been in the damn house or some shit. I don't know. But um, my whole goal as a house Negro would have been to get my dark skinned relatives from the fuck outside in that motherfucking heat. Okay. So, I mean, I always thank the Lord that I was not in that situation because I just couldn't have taken that shit i mean that's a lot so i mean and don't get me wrong them slave owners suffer too what y'all don't know is this see y'all view a slave owner as just somebody that was just all down for it right some of them slave owners was crying they damn self to sleep okay they was in a state of misery because some of them i believe was just doing that because that was the time they were in. That's where you get this, oh, well, some of them were kind slave owners, right? But keep in mind, you kind when, the slave owners kind when the 
slave is kind. I mean, it can kind of go like that. I mean, in my case, we actually inherited the family land or the slave owner's land that my relatives were on that plantation. So that plantation that my 13 relatives were slaves on, right? That land was left to those relatives. And this is documented in the South, okay? So my thing is this. I thought about, okay, if I moved down to the South and stayed at that land, that would creep me out for real. Just, I might wake up and have um, nightmares and see ghosts. I mean, would I wanna be there? I mean, my family in that particular state, they live there and they function just fine. The thing is the house is not on the land so the plantation home is not on the land, but the land is ours. So anybody that's an ancestor of our family slave master name, which I don't have that last name, y'all, but still, you know, most last names are slave names, right? So they live in their RVs and mobile homes and as long as you're from the ancestry, you can pull up and stay on that land, right? So at the end of the day, you should know enough about narcissism, whether you're Asian, Spanish, Samoan, black, white, whatever race you are on this channel, right? If you listen to me and love me and understand where I'm coming from, then at the end of the day, you're going to understand that Candace Owens is a narcissist or highly narcissistic. I think that shit, she might be borderline a damn sociopath. I mean, she say some crazy, toxic, don't give a fuck about herself, her race, or even the white people that she's talking to. She's trying to get a bunch of attention from white people that know she's lying, okay? There is police brutality. There is racism. All of these things exist, okay? The United States in general, the foundation of this country is based on racism. That's the bottom line. I mean, you can't, discount the history but like candace owens says she wants us to stop talking about the history it don't matter we ain't slaves well so what i feel something for the 13 slaves that was on the plantation of this particular slave master okay and it's just a sad situation i mean you got, I mean, imagine what the Ku Klux Klan is thinking when they watch her ass. Like, is this woman out of her mind? I mean, for real, like, I mean, some of her points, I mean, not everything she says is just absolutely not credible. I get it. I mean, at first, I kind of gave her the benefit of the doubt. But once I picked up on all the gaslighting and lies that she was saying, and like I said, in general, I don't use names on this channel, but in this case, it just is what it is. Candace Owens is something else. And I mean, for her, she thinks that she's getting all this level of respect. Yeah, she's popular. You know, she has the popularity, but at the same time, we know about narcissism now. So think about it. Even though she's a black woman from African descent, what do you think the white people from European descent, from European descent are saying about her ass when they see her? Because some of them are subscribed to me. And be honest, if you're 
from European ancestry, you're saying that that freaking lady is a narcissist. Okay? If you're European American, African American, whatever American you are, you're thinking if you have any level of empathy, okay, even if someone was a full-blown narcissist, a narcissist is able to say that is not true what she's saying, those are lies, and she she's actually experiencing a form of racism, and it's called inner racism. She hates her own race. She hates herself, and that's just my opinion of her. And she has the inability to feel. I mean, when I learned the slave master's name that came from my grandmother's side of the family on my mom's side, I was in a state of uh, sadness. I would say it took about four weeks for me to be right again. I mean, when I first read it and was reading all my relatives' names and stuff, this came from my cousin because every year we have a cousin in the family. I just love her so much. I need to call her, but we have a cousin in the family that keeps the family united in the South. And every single year they have a family reunion that I need to start going to. I have a lot of relatives down South that I have not met when I was being raised I was born and raised in the Midwest, but my relatives were Southerners. Okay, so I got a little bit of both, right? But at the end of the day, Candace Owens, just consider her a nar narcissist. Just, that's the bottom line. I mean, just consider her a narcissist. So when you put her in that category, whether you're white or black or whatever race you are, because what she's saying really affects white and black people the most because that's who she's speaking about. She's speaking about the history of black and white Americans. That's the bottom line. And she's telling a bunch of freaking lies. She's um, hurting the soul of so many black Americans and white Americans. I mean, racism don't exist. Check this out, okay? I always say this. I have enough subscribers to be a high school. The average high school has anywhere from 400 to 700 students approximately, right? Even a middle school can have that. So you don't think, I don't know that sometimes somebody will click on one of my videos and want to subscribe but my voice might not be what they want to hear you don't think somebody ain't clicked on my video and said no i'm not gonna subscribe to that nigga <laughs> sounds like a nigger bitch i mean come on now that's just the reality and for that to happen, they don't need to be in America, okay? I was watching a video and there's this famous model. She's either in, I think she's in Japan and they have a specific name over there. I don't think it was China, I think it was Japan. China or Japan, but from what I remember, I think it was Japan. She's half Japanese or Chinese and half black, right? And I don't know how the word was, but it was a it's a word that they have over there and it basically means nigger, okay? Way in Asia. I mean, that's a Asian country, but and I mean, she's beautiful. I mean, she looks black and Asian. I mean, she's just absolutely gorgeous. I can't remember her name. If you know it, put it in the comments. But they call her all kind of hateful names because she's black, okay? So racism for black people exists 
all over the world. I mean, this is a world event, okay? I mean, racism for everybody exists all over the world. There's just like Candace Owens can dislike her own and have a disdain for black people. There's white people that do the same thing. They have a disdain for white people. Okay, and it's not for the reason because they think that those particular white people are racist. So that's just basically how it works. I mean, the lady does a bunch of lying and gaslighting and once you realize someone is willing to change the facts and I mean, just outright lie, you could be playing a video of George Floyd that was just brutal. And Candace Owens will be like, racism don't exist. George Floyd shouldn't have took that bubble gum, boy. I mean, you should just justify it. It's a form of wickedness too. So I can't listen to her too long because I just like to listen to facts. Okay, so for me, that's why I can't entertain it too long because it's insane. And I would rather watch a video that the Ku Klux Klan is playing versus her. I mean, if I'm gonna listen to a racist why not listen to the KKK? I mean, <laughs> this might sound crazy, but the KKK has more valid statistics than Candace Owens' ass. It's hate filled. I mean, the KKK, a lot of the stuff that they are willing to do is from a hate perspective. But shit, I mean, at least their data is correct. At least they're acknowledging slavery, they're saying it existed. The KKK just want to keep it going and bring it back. You see the difference? Versus somebody like Candace Owens saying that it never existed at all. So <laughs> it's just crazy. I mean, just be careful what you watch. And any white and black American, and I'm speaking about white and black Americans because that's what Candace Owens is speaking about. She's speaking about black and white Americans. And we know that that is a narcissist. That's the bottom line. Quit talking about, oh, she's just insane and this, this and that. She's a narcissist. She don't feel nothing. That's why she's saying you need to get over it. That's the past. So what your relatives was beat up and brutalized and killed and called all kind of horrible names. She's saying, just forget about it. And you shouldn't be concerned with it now. It didn't happen to you. So I don't understand that mindset because like I said, when I first named or learned, not named, when I first learned the name of the slave master that was in our family that owned 13 of my relatives and their names are used every year when we have the family reunion in the South, right? That one day I would like to attend I couldn't even, I mean, I had some sleepless nights just because I learned the name and I was able to look it up. Um, there's a website you can go to. And especially if you know the name, direct name of the slave master, you can go to that website and you can get, it'll list the slave master. It names how many he owned he or she owned. Um, it lists your relatives' names. I mean, it basically like a Ancestry.com thing. It lists it all. You could go on Ancestry.com and get some of the same information. But this website is in particular to list the slave masters, the slave names, and how many that they own. And my thought was, and this was just a thought, how many sick people are going to see that their great, 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 how many ever many great grandpas own slaves and be proud of it? I mean, I was sick to see it, but there's going to be somebody that reads that and say, oh, look, 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 great, 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 
great grandpa was a slave master, y'all. Oh, shit. You know, so people are going to think like that, too, because they're thinking from a place of ignorance, not necessarily racism. Remember, racism is a form of ignorance. OK, and whether it be hating another race or hating your same race is all ignorance. So anyway, y'all, please like, share, and subscribe, and just realize that she is a narcissist, okay? That's the bottom line. Don't, don't worry so much, whether you're white or black. Since she's discussing and talking about white and black people, all white and black people should know she's a narcissist. Even the KKK should know that, okay? So tune her out. Don't listen to lies. She's just filled with a bunch of lies. She's gaslighting. She has no real love for herself, her own race and ethnic background. And she's lying and trying to get the attention of white people or European Americans. So she has no real love for them neither. She's just trying to get attention whatever way she can. And if she has the lie to get the attention, that's what she will do because she's a narcissist. She might be a sociopath, who knows? But don't listen to her. She's poison. That information, anything that's a lie is a form of poison. Okay, so just remember that. It's poison. You can't turn poison into a good quality meal, y'all. It just is what it is. So anyway, please like, share, and subscribe and as a disclaimer this was not meant to disrespect anyone this is just meant to educate us because remember this is advanced insight okay so i love y'all please like share and subscribe and i'm very grateful for my subscribers no matter what race you are okay and i love y'all so so much thank you